David, I think I'm gonna need to, I don't know, man. This is a perfect, I need the mini, but I don't know what that's gonna look like. I mean, it needs to stand up, right? All right, well, this is the truth. Thank you. I don't, this doesn't feel good to me. I could not, I don't, and I don't want to slaughter anybody, okay? I don't want to slaughter any chickens. I can't even believe I had eaten chicken for so long, and I, I still kind of eat chicken, but not very often. Hey guys, it's Dee Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer. I'm gonna do something I haven't seen anybody else show you. I'm gonna show you how dangerous clipper blades are. If you enjoy, hit the like button and don't forget, subscribe. Now, I'm gonna just show you, these are brand new. Brand new seven, brand new 10. The best way to open these, by the way, is right cut right around the blade itself. Just the blade. Trust me, I've been doing this a long time. And there, that top piece just pops right out. Boom, here's your 10 blade, okay, brand new. Same thing with our seven, here's our brand new seven blade. Okay, ceramic. Hmm, I'll have an idea. This feels really sad. I, I, all I can feel is like, God, thank you for letting me buy this at a grocery store and really show you how serious it is, although this animal has already been slaughtered. But I don't feel like I'm going to be a slaughter expert. That's, I feel sad to show you this. But what's happening is people, groomers and pet parents of, and barbers, you know, we, we take our job lightly, but really it's very serious. So if somebody were, if you didn't know they were a brand new groomer and they were going to practice on your pet, this is what it is. And just like in chemistry class, I don't know about you, but you dissected a frog, I'm sure. You dissected a baby pig. You dissected a lizard. You dissected all those things. So I don't feel like this is anything different. But this hurts my heart, I guess, because the animal already has been slaughtered too. But I'm having to show you how serious it is. And I'm glad this, de this chicken is dead. But what about an animal that's not dead? that actually goes through exactly what I'm about to show you, that these blades can really do damage. Okay, here we go. All right, whenever you're working with a live animal on your table, I always tell you there's hot spots underneath the armpits, underneath the back legs, anywhere a joint is, where a body part like this arm attaches to the body, right? There'll usually be some flabby skin in there, like here. Now, when you're working with a dog, isn't this all hairy and it's hard to see? Yes. So we've got our 40 blade, and look, I can just literally rip open that, just real easy. Here we've got our brand new opened tin blade. And you know how you come up under the arm like this with the hair, right? Some of y'all are coming at the wrong angle. You come in right at the skin like that. You want to be careful not to do that, okay? This is what would happen if you did. You would actually come in and really cut up that meat in there like this. 
Okay, we don't want to do that. Same thing coming in this direction. You're going to come in and be able to get all that meat like that. Look at this, man. You can literally just barely use, start. Look at this. I mean, if you just, just barely any action there. So when we're normally grooming with our tin blade, you come this way, right? You have a good angle and nothing's happening. Come down the leg. Right, obviously you don't want to be doing that, right? But you come down the leg. Boom, boom, boom. You come at the wrong angle, right? You come in, you definitely might slice something up. See how I got to nick that armpit right there? Look at all that. I just took all that off. Look, look now look at the pocket that I just cut. All that skin just gone away. If you're coming reverse too, you want to be careful. If you catch it, you know, too much pressure. I always tell you, not heavy handed. Or when I'm talking about moles, if you have some kind of mole sticking up, you're definitely going to shave that sucker right off, okay? Same thing here. When you're coming down to the body, really caught something right there. You don't want to, see, look at that. Boom, nice little nick, nice little nick. Boom, boom, boom. This is your brand new tin blade, all right? All right, brand new seven blade. Same thing, we're coming down. This one is like more teeth, bigger teeth. You can grab some more stuff. Look at that, straight in right there. Look at that, cut right there. Remember I told you guys, if the dog's matted, oh man, if the, mat, if the mats is pinching up the skin a little bit, boom, you're gonna get all that, look at that. Sliced it wide open. And then like, boom, look how easy it is right there. Look at that, so, because the teeth are wider, check this out. Wow, oh, great. Like this right here. Don't worry, Saki. Don't worry. This is just an example. Don't worry. Go over here and lay down. Go lay down. I won't bother you. It's okay. It's just an example, okay? Seven blade, brand new. Wow, look at that. Just they opened it up. You have to be really careful. This could be a dog. I want to say when we did this tin blade, it was not doing the same thing. Yeah, and you come back with a little bit more open teeth, it's definitely going to pull in whatever it wants to. See it, it, it even just right into the skin like that. Don't grab the chicken like that, man. It's getting out of hand. I started, I started thinking, well, I guess I've just become, I'm just getting this prepared for baking. Are you cooking dinner? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. I did this educational video for you because I don't think you've seen something like this before. Or maybe you have in, a kitchen chat, in the kitchen channel, but it's not the same thing as when you're grooming a dog and then that's what you think about is that this is an animal that has been cooked like in China. So this is very serious. The blades are very dangerous. Many of you have taken on grooming your pets at home and maybe not even taken it on very serious. I get so many emails of like, hey, what clipper do I need and what blade do I need? And I send an email and they don't read any of it. That tells me how serious they're taking it. 
So if you don't have time to read a three hour email, that that's all the only introduction I'm giving to you before you groom your dog, then you sure as heck have no idea how sharp those blades are that could have done the damage to a chicken that we did today. So I really needed you to see it and be prepared that when you're gonna groom your own pet, it's dangerous. It doesn't mean that when we're in COVID-19 that you have to groom your pet, but some of y'all need to. And your groomers aren't open. You're in a small little country town and, and the groomer's not open. The groomer actually closed down. The groomer got sick and is no longer there. So I get it. But not only do pet parents have the same issue, but you know what? Groomers do too. Very irregularly do you go to a groom shop and say, hey, is the groomer that's grooming my dog a beginner? If so, how long have they been grooming? How long have you been grooming? Will you possibly nick my dog during the groom? Let me tell you, I've shown you many dogs that have the cut tongue, a cut ear, the ear cut off, the tail cut off, a line down their back. This is why the seven blade will pull in all that skin. It doesn't matter what dog it is. The 40 blade will shave off a mole, so will a 10 blade. So understanding how dangerous these blades are is really key. I send you guys emails, I let you guys know what to do, take it serious. Little things like this, natural bandage spray, there's a few other ones, three in one conditioning spray, hot spot foam, all those things in the medical kit, those are all handy to get at myfavoritegroomer.com as well. You may not think that, or you may not nick every dog you groom, but it's good to have that on board in case something did happen. The dog did a quick move and you just hit the neck here, a quick move and you hit the ear there. Having those things like this, just hit, like, this is full. I haven't used it yet in 15 years. I haven't used that. But the, the point is, is that it's there. I have it. it, it it's handy. You know, something like this or the bandage kit that I put together so you can have one of every bandage just in case you need it. Thanks for watching DD Core with my favorite groomer. I hope you learned something today. If you're happy, hit the like button. Be sure to make sure you're subscribed and check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Get your products at myfavoritegroomer.com.